the most common meaningful side effect from Dupixent is called Dupixent-induced facial erythema. So we call it DFR for short. And it can be either you had normal eczema and over the rest of your body, you went on Dupixent, that all got better, but now you suddenly got eczema for the first time on your face, or it could be you had it on your face and the rest of your body, the rest of your body got better, but your face didn't. Either one of those can, can be the what we call DFR, Dupilumab or Dupixent facial redness. What has been determined, so initially people were really, well, this, this could be rosacea, it could be demodex, it could be contact dermatitis. The, again, the data has come out now. The vast majority of cases, probably 90% at least, it is that the Dupixent actually allows your body to start reacting to malassezia. So that I mentioned earlier that you've got this TH17 type reaction that is what causes seborrheic dermatitis. Well, people with eczema, their body is overproducing a particular cytokine, which is cytokines are how your immune cells talk to each other. They're a, a chemical that your immune cells release to talk to each other. And there are probably hundreds of different cytokines, but Dupixent blocks two cytokines, IL-13 and IL-4. And it turns out IL-4 actually prevents TH17 reactions. And so it's reasonable to say your eczema was preventing you from getting seborrheic dermatitis. Well, whenever we block the, because the IL-4 that was part of your eczema was blocking the seborrheic dermatitis. When we block the IL-4 with Dupixent, now we elect somebody who would have gotten seborrheic dermatitis long, long ago, they'll get it for the first time after they start the Dupixent because now the IL-4 isn't protecting them from it anymore.